I'm in Ghana, another night of confession is here. I'm sure whenever you see me, you think about what you did that you would rather die with. Now, why would you want to die with it? I'm here to listen to your confession anytime. Those of you who are reaching out to us through Facebook, uh, through TikTok, and all our social media handles, we're truly grateful. Keep your confessions coming. And when we reach out, have confidence to come to us in the studio and share your confession. Somebody is here tonight with her confession. And tonight's confession, she says, is a story about gym love. Now we are wondering, is it actually love or is it just an infatuation or the current words, she's just crushing. What is she supposed to do with all of these feelings inside of her, especially when she is? I'm not telling you more. Let's go into the confessions booth. As the confessions, both I'm seated and um, happy to be the ear that listens to the secrets of other people. And I tell you that here when I know you and I listen to your secret, that is it. That's where it ends. But we make it into a conversation in the studio for other people to learn from and also sometimes be informed and entertained. Tonight is another episode and the lady is here with me. In the studio, my lady, you are welcome to Confessions. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy, I'm Miss Adebi, and this is my story. I am 40 years old of age, and I am a married woman. Hmm. Due to race schedules, my husband travels frequently hmm. and leaves me alone for a extended period. Hmm. I wanted to stay active and social, so I decided to visit the gym regularly. Okay. You Miss have a Nancy. great body. I mean, the gym is working. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Nancy, I met this man that we got attracted to each other so quickly. Hmm. Along the line, we had feelings for each other and we started dating. Miss Nancy. <laughs> well, you started an affair because you're a married woman. Yes. So it's not dating. You are having an affair. So we had an affair. Mm -hmm. One thing led to the other, and we had sex. Miss Nancy, this is the first time I am ever cheating on my husband, mm. ever since we got married. Mm. And I feel so insecure. Oh. Despite the fact that both of us are married, I really care for this new man. In fact, I really do. Mm. That I, I love the connection that we both built. Yeah. And I don't want to let him go. Oh. As I speak now, I don't know if I should leave my husband for him. He would also leave his wife for me. Mm. I, I'm so confused and I don't know what to do. I'll oh. be glad if you help me out. Well, that is her confession. Happily married and not always at home husband. A strong connection with some man at the gym who is equally married. The feelings have become strong. It's been a year and a half. She's wondering if she should leave her marriage for this new man who is making her feel alive and womanly again. Or should she stay with her own husband? Asemwe, Eyasem Sebe. We are now seated in the studio after listening to this confession. Now, she's been in a relationship with a married man. She's a married woman herself. At this point, she thinks that the guilt is too much. She loves this new man more than her husband. It's her first time. She wants to do right. So let's leave our partners, our respective partners, because they are not serving us. Let us go in for each other. She's scared that if she makes this pronouncement, the gym lover is going to leave her. Your comments, please. I think that there's an issue somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, I get it if the woman wasn't getting attention from her husband, so she goes outside. But the guy, 
I don't know what's up with his marriage. We we don't really hear much about his side of the story. Of but I think that it is very hasty for her to want to um, leave her husband and go for the guy. Because for all you know, this is someone that is just trying to have fun and... Mm -hmm do away with time, maybe when his wife is not around, but just maybe he still loves his wife. So I think that she shouldn't be too hasty with her decision to leave her husband. And then for the husband of this lady, I think that he should do a little bit better with giving her attention because it's not that um, she had an issue with the guy, but it's because he wasn't really making time for her. He's always away, and so she had eyes for someone else. Now, if things were okay in the home, she wouldn't have looked elsewhere. She wouldn't have even gotten attracted to this person. It would have been something of an infatuation, and then she wouldn't pay much attention to it. Because she was lacking the attention, it became more, and now guilt is getting to her. That's a good one, Esther. Yes, anyone from the side? Yes, my lady? Thank you, Miss Nancy. So I think that the woman should speak with her husband because a 40-year-old woman, she's matured. So she yeah. can speak with her husband that this, honey, maybe the traveling is too much or I need you to have time for me. Yeah. Because there is no really any problem, as my sister already said, there is no issue between them. So as for the attention, I'm sure when she How talks to How about the, the man, woman making herself available for all the travels so that the husband doesn't do it alone? That's also a nice Another option. option yeah, right? the woman can because they are comfortable from what she says. They yeah. are quite comfortable. Yeah, it takes a comfortable woman to have the time and the liberties to be going to the gym, uh, frequent enough to even have an affair at the gym. Well, let us not waste so much time. My resource persons are ever ready right here. Um, Michelle Hammond, the author and international speaker, a great woman that loves love and has so much knowledge and experience when it comes to love. She's an author. You should grab one of her books and you'll thank me later. Michelle, you're welcome to Confessions once more. <laughs> So on confessions, there are known names and known phrases, and he is definitely one of them. Everybody prefers to call him Pastor Little, but indeed he is Pastor Abraham Boating. Ladies and gentlemen, let him feel love on confessions tonight. I love, 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 love your colors. She a loves me just because I am a strong man, right a strong black man. Good to see you, Osofo. <laughs> it's always wonderful to have you great people, very resourced. That's how I like it on Confessions. Did you hear the story? Yeah. Two married people. Yeah, yeah. They've been jamming mm. and they had to jam support each other into the bedroom to continue the jamming. You know sex <laughs> is an exercise, right? Pastor Little. Yeah, Miss Nancy. Want me to put you on the spot or I do the ladies first? Uh, ladies will go first. Beautiful awesome. ladies first. He's such a gentleman. <laughs> Michelle, mm. our sister has not been doing the godly things. No. Now, probably her and probably other 10 women at the gym. The he's the, a person who works at the gym. Uh, he's probably having fun with a lot of women at the gym. Luckily, this one is not working at the gym. He is also another man trying to be healthy, uh -huh. keeping himself fit. But I think he might be making his way around the gym. That happens a lot at the gym. Michelle, you're trying to break this woman's <laughs> heart before we even commence the conversation. Well, here's the thing. If he's cheating with you, he will cheat on you. This is a rule of life. So, no, you don't throw your marriage out. Uh, he's not going anywhere. You know, most men who have affairs are not planning on leaving their wives. Mm -hmm. They're planning on having an affair yeah. to fill in the blanks of whatever it is they feel they're not getting from their wife. But they have no plans of leaving the wife. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you sob stories about the wife to get you thinking that you could be a better wife, but they're not going anywhere. And this is something that you need to learn. Even if he frees himself to marry you, you will be on pins and needles for the rest of your life because, because he cheated with you, you and him. you can cheat again. That's a good one. Pastor Little, yeah, listen, I see. is it true <laughs> that sometimes we miss our soulmates hmm. in the journey of life? That indeed, this woman is married and indeed this man is married, and yet they found themselves in the gym. 
and they realize that, oh, we're perfect for each other. My husband doesn't come close. My wife doesn't come close. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ms. Nancy, and to our wonderful viewers and all. In the contemporary context, there's a question going on on social media. People are raising that. If you ask the average or the normal woman, who is your dream man, even if she's married, she'll tell you something. If you compare the narrative with the husband or the person she is, she with, is with, and they are not compatible, mm -hmm. then it tells you that in her heart, this the one, her choice. yes, that's a second choice. Mm -hmm. Mm. So I'm just living with you because maybe I'm getting older, mm. maybe things because of whatever reason. So mm. I'm just managing with you. Mm. When you are managing with somebody, then somebody can come in. Mm. Now let's look at other statistics. It is proven that places such as the gym, mm. social media, mm. places where we have contacts, interest contacts, like my children go to school here, your children also go to school here, we meet as parents. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Often. How come I've not met someone at my daughter's school? Uh, I pick up every day. You're oh, not looking. You just drop and you go. I didn't know that one. So when you drop, wait small. Uh, okay. No, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> that is just by the way. These days, I will tally yeah. at my daughter's school gate. Yeah. Mm. In fact, I'll get out of the no, car and stand no. by it. Let's not go looking for trouble. Let's not go looking. Continue you, to drop her and leave, please. I should just go in peace and thank, thank you, thank you, sister, for the advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as I was saying, so you look at the gym, the gym. you look at place of interest like school, like mm. social events and the mm -hmm, like. Mm -hmm. You look at even the church. Uh, yes. So down. Oh. Sometimes. Yeah. So these are spots for affairs and other places. So you meet somebody at the gym. There are three categories of our appearance. We have the public appearance. When you come in public, like we are, oh, you do makeup. You put things up. You try to present yourself in a the way that is... The costumes at the gyms are just awesome. That ah, is appealing awesome. to the public. Yes. There's a public dimension. Yeah. Then there's a private dimension. Mm -hmm. Then there's a personal dimension. Mm -hmm. You do not know the personal and the private dimension of any individual on the street, in the mm -hmm. gym, at church, at social functions, and whatever. If I'm at the gym... I'm there in a public dimension. So mm. I present myself, I'm the Mr. Nice Guy. I'm the Miss Wonderful Woman. Mm. So your husband, so your wife will be whatever you see. All the things you do not see in your wife, you think you see in this woman, mm, woman. at the gym. All the things you do not see in your husband, you think you see in this man at the gym. He's perfect. But spend one day with him in his private and personal, and you see who she, he is. Really is. Even how he snores. Even how he treats himself, yeah. even how he go about certain things, mm, would tell you. Bit. Hey, some people sleep. Mm. Hey. <laughs> no, some would scare you. You would think that something is happening. It's mm. just them sleeping normally. Yeah. Mm. Then there's frequency vi vibrations. You know and, uh, the sounds that come in easy. and goodness. But so, how about other things important like anger management, yes, money exactly. management, exactly. Money. life management, life management. The when you're in lust, person. she was. She's in lust. She's not in love. It's been over it's a, a year. Difference. The affair has gone on for a year and a half. Yeah, you can be in lust that long. Whoa. Yeah. It's fueled from things that lust will look at the outward, will look at the here and now, satisfaction. Mm -hmm. I yeah. want to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. And this woman present that, this man present that. And that is it, we move on. So we meet at the gym. And Miss Nancy, this is not part of the story, but we are realizing that in the Ghanaian context, we beg, like Michelle said, the gym is practice. And the, the gym people, eh? they should be careful. Mm -hmm. the, Those gym instructors, they're macho hey. boys. They should they're be careful. Macho boys. They should be very careful. Apparently, they are not going to heaven with us. Oh, and Ooh. that's not just in not Ghana. Oh. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Not just in Ghana. The gym. Oh, the gym is the pickup place. Yes. Dear Mr. Man, <laughs> dear my woman, <laughs> if your husband is frequenting the gym, if your wife would always go to the gym. Tonight, salvation has come for your marriage. Yeah. Mm. Take this information and do whatever That's you want right. with it. You need to go with them. Okay, so there was something that any of you had to say. To the gym instructors, some of them are working. It's the work that they are doing to actually get their daily bread. So why are you doing this? Oh, we, we were just saying, we're not saying every one of some. them, yeah. but some of them have made it their job. Alice, that if you they come. would be attending to other people's issues for them. We want when free meals. Ask them. We all want free meals. If you've offered me a free meal, I will enjoy. I will so enjoy it's the, the wives meal. that are offering the free meals. Yes. Okay. A lady who knows you've Sisters actually committed 
So One a particular of, man. Sisters, we no, are down. Mr. Lassie, if you should go to the hospital and you are vulnerable as a patient and the doctor mm -hmm. should say you are a free meal. You can fall in love with the doctor. That is not so. Say. If you are a professional gym instructor, be a professional gym instructor. Gym instructor. But realize the case, the lady is offering me something. I'm a man I, I, and I, I have I feelings get, I get what you're trying to say. <laughs> but you should have your own disciplines. Exactly. When somebody is giving you alcohol that can kill you, you don't need to consume all. If somebody is giving you something, it's free. It's probably even expensive, but it can kill you. Why do you even take it? Right. So you need to have your own boundaries and restrictions of your lives. I'm being freely given. I'm just not receiving. Exactly. Anyone from here, please? Uh, Miss Nice, good evening. Hi. Please, um, my question is, I'm just looking at it from this per uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. My question is, uh, how of, uh, frequent does their husband travel? And very frequently. In fact, he travels. He travels very frequently. His job is about traveling. But she's enjoying. Yes. The, the so in this case, that, right? I'm sure. Yeah. In in this case, I I don't think. I think there's something in the house. Uh, there's something going on in her marriage that, I mean, we we are not talking about. Mm -hmm. Because the husband is not getting attention to her. She's not getting attention from the husband. Yeah, because he's not available. She yes. never said anything so, about her husband not being caring or responsible. Absolutely. Well, all she when says is, home. She, yeah. he is not at home. Yes. And she's usually very alone. She actually went to the gym just to keep herself active mm -hmm. and can busy. Can she find yes. some other way to be active? Like some, what, sis? Uh, there's lots of things she can do. Tell that, us. Uh, she can get involved with children in a program. She can find some sort of of a philanthropic thing to involve us because it sounds like mm -hmm. he's traveling and making a lot of money. She's enjoying the money mm -hmm. and she's enjoying him when he comes home. Mm -hmm. And this is something I tell women all the time. You know, you want a rich husband, okay? Mm -hmm. Now the rich husband has to go away and work a lot in order Bridget, to be rich. Sister. So do you want a man that's at home and has the time to see you with limited funds? Or do oh. you want the rich husband? I now, if you want the rich husband, then you need to be able to be the right kind of wife, whether he's at home or not, because he's going off to get all those things that you said you wanted in the first place. Mm. It's not a fair exchange. I mean, you, decide what you really want. Want. You know, you because I'm want sorry. a rich husband, a providing husband exactly. who is physically and available all an, the time. And then use that as an excuse to cheat. You are a grown woman. You are able to ha exercise the power of choice. Yes. This comes into a character issue mm -hmm. and, and who you are as a person. Yes. I mean, I, to me, it's, 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 she should be uncomfortable with what she's doing. And she, she needs is. to set it right right away. She needs to cut off that relationship. She needs to stop going to that gym. Should she tell her husband? Ooh, that's another big question, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because men are not as forgiving when no. women have affairs. No. Women forgive men for affairs all the time we because do. we're raised to expect them to have affairs, which I think so is tough. wrong. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, women are not supposed to have affairs. Mm. So that is something she needs to prayerfully consider if she just cuts it off and moves on or if she really comes clean with her husband and says, you know what, honey, I think I need to travel with you sometimes so that we can spend more. She needs to address the issues in oh, her house and not try to solve them outside of her house. Address the issues in your home. Try not to solve them outside the home. Can I repeat that? Address the issues in your home, man, woman. Try not to solve them outside the home. Yeah. Pastor Little, yeah. back to you. Yeah, so what we're saying is that if you are not satisfied at home, it is one, you are part of the problem mm -hmm. because you know, like she said, most of the time we want guys who are rich, who have a certain pedigree, a certain mm -hmm. context. Mm -hmm. uh, Powerful man. Waha, like mm -hmm. we say in a can, Ope de abeng waha, na eye shia. It is a unya da dia na ta, and also bit miyasa. Exactly. Waka asemo, ope de aye abeng na eye shia. It is a unya ta wit miyasa. Ope de aye shia. Aha. Na, uko samsu akai se. Like most young people want, oh, I want this six pack guy, young guy, this, this, mm -hmm. this, this. Those guys don't have time to talk with you 24 seven. Yeah. Any guy that can be talking to video call with you morning, mm -hmm. every time is home, is not business oriented. If you're business oriented, career oriented, a father oriented, somebody who wants something to achieve, you don't talk to a woman 24 seven in a day. Mm -hmm. You don't give the so-called attention 24 mm seven. -hmm. And sometimes some 
I've said that attention also comes with material person. When a woman tells you, my husband is scary, my husband is lovely, my husband is what? All boils back to one fact. The man can provide for the woman. Yes. yes. Boys, are you here? Yes. Uh, how many cements are you supporting with this? <laughs> <laughs> 24 cements, guys. Yeah. Jata cements. Let's yeah. support him with Jata cements. It's a concrete one. Okay, please, go ahead. You had a microphone. Uh, actually... This is a great opportunity, and I'm also supporting what that is saying. That's mm -hmm. my pastor, my personal pastor. Why am I saying this? Before I will talk, this era, or let me say this generation, mm -hmm. all what you do is, we don't go for what we need. We go for what we want. Mm. Why am I saying this? Before you be in love, mm. don't fall in love because of caring or something. If someone should fall into love, meaning you know the bad side of the person and still good for the person. Yeah. That is the major, major thing about love. Mm -hmm. And I said that, if the woman is supposed to do the other way by falling into love with their man, going in extent to have sex or to have affair with the An person, mm -hmm. it is unfair. Unfair to the hard-working husband. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. even the Bible is saying that we should love one another. Fine. That one doesn't mean that you should <laughs> go into the practical way of maybe doing different things altogether. Because yeah. why am I saying this? Jesus Christ even is a jealous God. Yeah. He so said a man would be jealous when he finds out. Yeah. That's great. That's a good point. Thank you. That's awesome. Please pass the microphone on. Thank you. Yes, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Miss Nancy. Yeah. Um, I think actually there's one thing we are forgetting here. Remind this, us. This woman, as at this point, has no marriage. <laughs> the marriage has fallen on the rocks and it has crashed. Because now she has gotten herself involved with another man who is a gym instructor. Not no, a gym no, instructor. No. Uh, who is a, a man, a man he in met the gym. Other gym. Okay, in the gym. Who is mm -hmm. also married. He's also married. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, now we don't know the financial... Um, stability of that man and we don't know his demands so yeah. if that man also comes to realize that this woman's husband has enough money to cater for the house he can use that to blackmail her mm. so i think at this point what she has to do rather is to go before her husband and start confessing for her husband to forgive her because if she doesn't do that and it gets too late and the man rather starts coming after her that if you don't do this for me you don't do that for me i'm going to tell your husband now, th this is just for social media. Ooh. Let's do this. We are voting. If you're a woman and you cheat on your partner, your husband or your boyfriend, should you go with a confession? And how do they usually end? Let us vote on this one. Do, if I cheat on my partner, do I tell my partner and ask for forgiveness or I should die with it? Thank you very much. <laughs> This is Confessions on TV3. We will take this break. When we come back, we give you more. Hello, Miss Nancy. Hello, audience, studio audience, lovely studio audience. And hello to our sweet viewers out there. Um, this topic is a very dicey one. Um, that's why I always say that in marriage, um, the paramount thing, the spice thing, the spicy thing in marriage is communication. This man is traveling all the time. You are always alone. What do you do? You can't take it anymore. Now, it has made you do something that you were not ready for. In this case, please, lady, I think you should sit your husband down and communicate. I always say when you say communicate, it, you have to create the atmosphere for that communication. You just don't get up and talk about things to your husband, especially things that are worrying you. First of all, pray to God for forgiveness. He would forgive you. That is if you're ready to stop or put an end to whatever you're doing. I would say that. And then create the correct atmosphere and speak to your husband. In this case, I won't say you should go and even confess to your husband because it's not going to work. It will end your marriage. Practically, men will not want to know that someone has used my wife. So what you do is pray about it, fast about it. After you are done with it, now commit the heart of your man to, your, to God's hand. And then after that, you approach your husband. Speak to him. Speak. 
Speak from the depths of your heart. Tell him your problem. Tell him that you need his attention. You need his time. After all the money he's making or whatever he's doing for you, money alone cannot make you happy. The chairs in the house cannot make you happy. You need him at home. So he should calm down a little bit. Even his health, I mean, talk about health implications and all that. It's not even good for him and it's not helping the marriage. You're dying emotionally, you're dying physically. And then after that, let's see how it goes. And you yourself, take good care of yourself. Yes, you are in the gym, but dress well. Miss Nancy is saying, you have to look well. And it depends on how you look, how the house is, that will make a man stay at home. If the house is not conducive enough, if the house is not, the home is not lovely enough, men will always run. So make the home as lively as possible. Let him enjoy your body. Let him enjoy the home. And I promise you, my dear, with God involved, with God, you know, taking the will, you know, the marriage will come back to where it started from that first love. Thank you. I love you all. I miss confessions and I promise soon I will be there. So let's go outside and get the opinions of everyone out there on the streets. If your partner is cheating on you, are you expecting a confession or you would rather your partner dies with it, man or woman? Let's go out there onto the streets and get to know what people think. I think the lady has to be decisive because um, you can't just throw away a 40-year marriage just because of some months, weeks, days of pleasure, um, they would need to sit down as a couple to have a conversation about where the marriage is going. If it won't work and you don't want it to work, then that's fine. But to be cheating on your husband with um, someone who might not be into you, but maybe just because of the pleasure is not the best. So I think the communication aspect of their marriage should work. You see, these days, no matter where you are in the world, the world has become very small and like a global village. And so there are a lot of things they can do to bring their marriage closer to them. They can still maintain their intimacy and whatever they want to with communication. Because now the world is closer to everyone. The, the world is a global village. I don't think the husband being away and being absent should, you know, warrant you going in for someone who would mess up 40 years of your life. So that's what I think. Um, I think the man should make time for the wife, for the home, actually. Uh, because you being busy, working and all that, you know, it would definitely make her want to go outside and do what she wants to do. And I think she too, she needs to work on herself. She's Definitely looking for something, so she should also work for herself or work on herself. Thank you. We are back and opinions, they say, are like noses. We're almost wrapping up the show for tonight. The confession has been Jim Love, two married people having an affair. One says, I want to do right and so I want to divorce my husband for you. Now she is not sure. The affair has been going on for a year and a half. Husband no, has no idea. She wants to do right by leaving the husband for this new man. She is not sure whether this man is ready to take her in or anything. She is confused. Yes, she wants to do right after a year and a half. Our advice to this lady, uh, Michelle, and then Pastor Ledo. Well, you said something very interesting. She doesn't know where she stands with the other woman, mm -mm. with the other man. Mm -hmm. So therefore they don't really have that deep of a relationship. Yeah. It's a physical relationship. She's in lust, not love. They haven't exchanged any ideas. He hasn't said, oh, I want to be with you. I want to leave my wife. She has no idea. And if she has no idea, guess what? He there isn't is planning on anything that she wants mm. because otherwise he would have voiced it. Men are very interesting. Mm. They say what they want. They do. And they don't say what they don't want. Mm. They don't say what they exactly. don't want. Exactly. So if, I if it doesn't we're gonna come, celebrate the statement. Men say what, what they, they want, want, they do not say, say what, what they, they don't, don't want. want. Exactly. So they just will go along, they'll float along and let it float and float and float till it floats over the horizon. Mm. 
Yeah. Because even when they want out of the relationship, they never say they want out of the relationship. Yeah. They just start acting up so that you get out of the relationship. So, uh, you know, they're not good at the confrontation of negative things or Why things that... Why are men like that? It's ah. part of their nature, so... Uh, Pastor Leto, <laughs> are you here? I'm here. Can you preach to the brothers <laughs> <laughs> that they should actually tell us what they want? Mr. Nancy, if we should start this issue of what we want, the complex character is a female species. They themselves don't know what they want. Well, men fear rejection above all things. So that's why they don't say what, say what they, what they want. want. Mm. But in this case, he has not voiced he wants to be with her. Yeah. And her not knowing what he wants is an indication that he does not want what she wants. Yeah. Because he would have made that clear by now. By now, uh, after and, a year. And, yeah. It's and a healthy he's time not going for you anywhere. to know that. He, he's going to drop her it. like it's hot if she brings it up. All right, Pastor Leto. Uh, Miss Nancy, they said the devil you know mm -hmm. is better yes. than the angel you do not know. Exactly. And I brought the analogy of the public life. If you know me in public, I may be a nice person. You meet this man only at the gym. Mm -hmm. You meet this woman only at the gym. There are other constituents that make us whole. You don't know those dimensions. Mm -hmm. And you want to go in, get ready for trouble. Yes. Those of us who are listening and you're having an affair at the workplace, mm -hmm. you only meet her at the workplace. You meet him at the workplace. Mm -hmm. If you know who she is, he Thank is you. the real person. You Preach. run away. Some of the gentlemen, apparently, when they get home, they only wear buses. Mm. I mean, the loose ones. And everything will be dangling. They are so not looking cool. Mm. When you see them in the suit, you think he's a fine one. Mm. See him in his buses. <laughs> and see. The gym. <laughs> in the gym, you have gym clothes. You are well you prepared. Know, At the together. workplace, in the church, you look good. And all that. Those are facials. Those are superficial. We do not enter into lasting relationships with that. And research have told us also. That those who have the mindset, for example, that we want to divorce, mm -hmm. you divorce to marry somebody who has also divorced and the cycle goes on. Mm. Marriage is a lifelong union, a beautiful thing. Yes. And if you are in it, yeah, there will be problems, there will be challenges. Nobody said that it's holistic, it's going to be perfect. No. If yes, you've gone wayward, come back home. This is love. Love is eternal. Work on it, repair it, mm -hmm. build on it. <laughs> this guy who is doing some few things with you. It could just be just the action, yeah. but the other side, you the other know. things. And like Michelle started with, if he can cheat with you, he will he cheat, on, cheat you on you also. Now, this has been Confessions on TV3. My name is Miss Nancy. As I wrap up my show tonight, I would want to send out a public service announcement that the affairs are happening in the gyms, where we pick up our children at school. In fact, it's happening in their workplaces. Mm. And the worst place of all is the church. Mm. Dear God, I am praying those who are having affairs in the church, don't allow them into heaven, no. Because that one, dear, <laughs> oh, it's worry. a sin don't within a sin, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Same time next week. Mwah. <laughs>